Hi there everyone, this is Tina and this is your message of the day and this comes to you on Tuesday, May the 30th, 2023. And this is another day that might seem heavy to to many of the sensitive as they come in. You're reluctant to move forward, but you're being asked to make decisions. It's like your mind is elsewhere, but you have to be present in the moment. Don't consider yourself unusual if you feel that way. Many might have health concerns that have just arisen. That's again a reaction to the energies. As the moon becomes fuller and fuller, you are also being asked to release the old baggage and just walk forward. And the divine ones understand this process that you're going through, that it might be bewildering and overwhelming, a task that seems insurmountable in some ways, problems that have arisen that you cannot just find solutions to just momentarily. And so the Divine One's always one step ahead of us, always wanting to keep, you can say, the blanket that we sleep in and the ground that we walk on smooth and comfortable. The most powerful of Divine Father's forms comes forward today. And that is Lord Ganesh, the elephant god who helps us surmount all kinds of problems. There's nothing that you cannot cross with him guiding you and supporting you, teaching you and protecting you. And that is exactly what he is doing this day. First of all, you start this journey by just looking into his eyes. And for a moment... Close your eyes after looking at these eyes and hear these words. This is a supreme mantra, the holy words connected to Lord Ganesh. Om Gam Ganapate Namaha Om Gam Ganapate Namaha Om Gam Ganapate Namaha. And now just open your eyes ever so slowly. And your eyes will rest on one symbol and one place in this image that is just meant for you, that has a holy message just for you. Again, take a moment to just look at that symbol for as long as your eyes And focal point, you can say, or focus point, want to stare at that symbol. And the supreme message will come through just for you. Trust that. Make it general right now and not specific to a concern. And the rest will follow after that. Because he has his hand up, ready to give you answers, to give you a solution, to give you a pathway, to give you action steps. It's all designed for you. And Archangel Metatron is very much guiding this process as well. So you can touch his hand, place your hand, palms open into his hand, and you can see there's already the image, the symbol of a swastik drawn there. The swastik is a symbol of balance in all elements, in all ways. Earth, air, water, and fire, whichever way you want to define it. Again, you don't have to worry about knowing everything. Your intuition, Archangel Metatron, your guardian angel, and Ganeshi himself will guide you as to what this mudra means for you. How you can go forward using this. What benefit can it be to you? Because you are once again given the chance to be what you're meant to be, a co-creator with God, and you go forward. And then you touch 
what he's holding, what seems to be like a weapon. This is you, again, working with Archangel Michael this time and cutting away all that binds you, that hurts you, that restrains your movement forward. All the reasons you deny yourself, the realization of your dreams, fulfillment, peace, a restful night's sleep, whatever the reason that you steal joy and fulfillment, relaxation from your life, cut it away. This is the sword of invincibility. Basically, you are using the light to cut through the darkness in all form, be it through thought, be it sitting in your body, be it in your chakra points, in a situation in your life, in your desire, your emotions, the relationships you have, the words you carry this day. But you don't have to worry about anything. Just surrender it to Lord Ganeshji. Because infinite abundance is pouring down to you in all forms, directions, manners. That is why these words come through. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. So all you have to do is just find out how you want to apply this abundance and enjoy this abundance and invite this abundance and enhance this abundance in your life. And then you can touch his necklace and ask for abundance to pour through your words, your interactions, your verbal expression, to form words, to call upon someone if you're afraid to reach out. This is the supreme day of communication, actually. The communication energy is very much supported. So go ahead and do also verbal connection with your guardian angels, with your spiritual team. And also engage in verbal form of meditation and prayer, invocations. Of course, mantra job, he would love that. Mantras specifically related to him. And giving your requests through verbal prayer and his trunk that you see going straight into the sweetmeat, the laddu, which he's holding, is giving you basically the vibrancy to go forward on whatever it is that spontaneously you step into this day, the first action step you take, You will not be scared because you will not have time to be scared. The action steps will be given to you moment to moment. Just follow what the light is telling you to do, what your intuition is telling you to do. And this time, again, intuitively, you could be led by heart. You could be led by mind. You could be led by both. Maybe you need a merger of both. That's what you really seek. Go ahead and ask for that because you see there is no point in his trunk that is not connected. You want further connections with people, understanding your misaligning, maybe with your life purpose, with what you're supposed to be doing. You want to change the routine of your day. All of that is covered. You just keep following along spontaneously, not questioning at all. And if you see the beautiful mandala behind him, the orb of inspiration. That is the enhancement of your mental realm and your connection back to heaven, to the Akashic space, to knowing, to using your thought forms as a form of creation, as a form of healing, as a form of clearing, as a form of organization, as a form of knowing, of course, what it is that you want to place, what it is that you want to finally replace and change? What is it that you want for the clarity on, understanding on? What is it that you want to create and bring into your life and attract into your life? 
all those lines, don't worry about what they mean. See wherever it is that your hand touches and ask how you can use those movement of lines to align your own life with the life and movement of the universe and see that it is green. Green means abundance, growth, revival, heart energy, nature. Give green also a meaning in your life. What does the color green mean to you? And don't read a book for this. Again, try to be as creative as you can. Because when you are creative within your own mind and heart and space, then you are co-creating. You are becoming a co-creator because you're adding your own unique song and expression to the universal forces. That will only be honored. You cannot go wrong with that. There's no wrong answer, by the way. So go ahead and do whatever it is that your heart leads you to do this day. And of course, your mind. Quickly moving along. Not questioning, just doing. And if you see his headrest, you might say, why is it so tall and has so many layers? Because give yourself time to absorb. So if you can engage in thoughtful forms of prayer and meditation, relaxing, especially working on your breath. For those who never think about breath, breath, they say, oh, it just comes in and goes out. Now you could use your breath as a creative friend. So go ahead and find a form of breath relaxation for those who do Reiki. Go back into your Reiki breath again and re- Reconnect with that and for those who are opening up their first time to their breath, ask for the cosmic breath, angels and Ganeshi to align your breath. You might even feel the left lung and right lung aligning this day. Like as if your heart is coming together as a new organ, not just physically, but energetically. So you're finally rid of all toxic energies and negativity that you just keep on carrying around. This is a superb way also to create what you do want and get rid of what you don't want. Removing patterns finally by coming down into the third eye, envisioning just what you want, feeling wonderful about it. You're driving that car You're enjoying that vacation. You're the owner of that company. You're surrounded by family and friends. You're in that superb marriage that you want and desire. The romance in your life is singing a different song, a different tune, is fresh again. Your relationships are fresh again. You're seeing all the people in your life as what they mean to you with gratitude for how precious they are, what they bring to your life. Your heart is already happy thinking about it. It's not just memory. It's living truth now within you. And if you see now, you might wonder, why are there so many symbols on Lord Ganesh Ji. There's another one on his, what seems to be his nose. And right below the third eye. And right above his trunk. This is you connecting with your clairsentient abilities. You might say the clairsentient abilities are usually talked about being in the stomach. But this is helping you Become more sensitive to the light in general, as vibration, as wind, fragrance, color, symbols. That's why it's in symbolic form and it's taken the universal symbol as the door 
the doorway is opening. This is you literally entering the Akashic spaces in a whole different manner. You don't have to think about the scrolls and the library and calling upon Archangel Raziel. He's right there as you look at the symbol because Lord Ganesh Ji commands all of heaven. And all of heaven responds. It's all working together just to help you raise your vibration in whatever way is needed. And you're protected through all of this. Why? Because of that beautiful shawl that he's wearing. See how beautifully it enwraps the left and right shoulder. This is you, protected. So step forward into the new and ask for the shawl of protection wherever you feel insecure. You're allowed to feel insecure, by the way. You're not supposed to be, you are not supposed to be feeling insurmountable. You are still a human being and it's okay for you to admit that you are a human being. And hold that fragrance coming forward from the lotus for balance, for relaxation, for peace, softening of your heart, more loving interactions, however you want to send forward the softening into your day, into your environment, into your interactions, into your words, into your manifestations and desires, into your future in any way. Because see, the back, it's all coming together beautifully. Everything that you've done today is written there. That's literally your Akashic scrolls for you to touch in the evening and feel that, yes, I've had a superb day. I've done something with my time and all the instruments of light that were given to me. And Lord Ganeshi is through this process with you. So enjoy being you. Enjoy this day. Invite this infinite abundance created. And created not just for this moment and this day, but for eternity in your life, for the universe, in every way. Life is only getting better. And this is given to us as the keepers of the light by Kyle Gray. And Kyle can be reached at kylegray.co.uk. And the wonderful artwork that makes Ganeshi come so alive to us, live in our hearts, comes to us from Lily Moses. And Lily can be reached at lilymoses.com. And this is Tina signing off for now. Bye-bye.